Hi there, my name is Tim and I'm from the Learning Assistance Center. Today we're going to be talking about goal setting. Research on setting goals demonstrates that university students who set goals are more likely to acquire knowledge and have a successful university experience. The reason is because goals facilitate the qualities of persistence, motivation, and focus. You can have both long-term goals and short-term goals. Long-term goals are important because they serve as motivators. An example of a long-term goal might be to earn a bachelor's degree or to get a career in the field of your choice. Short-term goals are equally important. It is through achieving our short-term goals that we can realize our long-term dreams. An example of a short-term goal might be to pass your psychology course or to do five practice questions for your math class in order to prepare for an exam. When setting goals, it is important to think about both content-oriented goals and strategy-oriented goals. Content-oriented goals refer to what you are going to do. An example might be, I'm going to study for my economics class. It's even more important to set strategy-oriented goals when you're in university because they refer to how you are going to study. An example might be, I'm going to study for economics by rereading the chapter and writing a summary of the contents. Walker and Schoenwetter outline what they call the STAR model of goal setting. The STAR model is designed to help students set goals that are specific, testable, attainable, and relevant. An example of a specific goal might be to create vocabulary cue cards for a first year biology class in order to learn the required vocabulary so that you can pass the test. Setting specific goals is very important. If goals are too vague, they tend to fall by the wayside. T stands for testable. It is important to set goals that can be evaluated within a specific time frame. This allows you to measure your progress and reset your goals as required. An example of a testable goal might be, I'm going to learn the required vocabulary from chapters 1 and 2 of my psychology textbook and be able to recite the definitions by this Thursday. A stands for attainable. Your goals should be challenging, but they should also be realistic. If you set goals that you can't achieve, you only end up setting yourself up for disappointment. Instead, you want to set goals that you can achieve so that you can build confidence. For example, if you expect to be able to read 300 pages a night from your sociology textbook, you might not be able to achieve that goal. It might be more realistic to try setting a goal like reading 30 pages a night. And finally, goals need to be relevant. In other words, they need to be personally meaningful in order to stay motivated. For this reason, it is important to set your own goals, and it's important that your short-term goals line up with your long-term goals. An example might be if you're getting pressure to take certain courses with your friends that don't line up with your school plans.